Well, hi. So, I have an unboxing. It's huge. Uh, yeah. And it comes in this awesome box um, that says Warning, may contain awesome books. So, I just don't know how to open it. And this is from Book Outlet. I forgot how awesome Book Outlet is. Um, absolutely, highly recommend them. Um, a lot of these books, they had a clearance. And a lot of these books were um, like $3, $1. $1. Um, hold on, let me just push that over. Okay, you don't need to see that. Struggle is real, folks. Okay, so the first book that comes out of here is, I think these are all YA, and there's one middle grade, but those are all YA, I love YA. So this is the Mother Daughter Book Club by Heather Vogel Frederick. The book club is about to get a makeover. And this is, oh, just so, like 230 pages. Oh, and there's Mother Daughter Book Club treats. There's recipe for chocolate chip cookies. Cause it's a mother daughter book club, right? There's uh, crispy squares, vanilla cupcakes. So, oh, this is gonna be fun to read. Uh, with little women, but what begins as a mom inspired ritual of reading little women soon helps four unlikely friends navigate the drama of middle school. So, got this one. This this is all go. This this is all my February TBR. And then this is this is the one I didn't want to pass it up, but oh, Casey West wrote, wrote a blurb: an instant dose of happy. Say yes to summer. By Lindsay Roth Colley. Rachel Walls has spent most of high school saying no, no to dances, no to parties, and most especially no to boys. Now she's graduating at the top of her class, and for the first time in her life. There's nothing stopping Rachel from having a little fun, except herself. And then this one, oh, and I'm on like a, this thriller kind of kick. Although right now I'm reading Sarah J. Mass Thorn of Glass, which I'm loving it, by the way. The Hall in the Knife. One storm will change their lives forever if they survive the night. And then I got this one because of Puk, Puk, how do you say it? Pukistani Phil, the groundhog in Pennsylvania. Puk, Pukistani Phil. So that's why I got this. And also the lockers kind of reminded me of my high school. Pretty in Pukistani. So I got this. And then I got this perfect day on Groundhog Day. Wow, that couldn't be more perfect. So wake up go to school fall in love repeat and this just reminds me of locker our lockers and hanging out by our lockers her day is caught in a loop her love life is stuck in a rut her future is fixed on a kiss so it's like the movie groundhog day and then another one i got is asylum <sighs> asylum once you get in there's no getting out Dark, twisted magnif magnificence, brilliant. So 16 year old Dan Crawfield, Crawfield. Dan Crawford, the New Hampshire college prep program is the chance of a lifetime. Except that when Dan arrives, he finds that the unusual summer housing has been closed, forcing students to stay in the crumbling Brooklyn dorm formerly a psychiatric hospital. So that's exciting, huh? So I'm super excited for this one too. And it's not very long either. It is just over 300 pages. But I love YA. I absolutely love YA. Oh, one of my books is getting ruined here, people. 
but that's okay. Okay, we fixed it. It's a hardcover, and again, even the hardcovers, like they were all like three dollars, four dollars, one dollar, and I got "They'll Never Catch Us" by Jessica Goodman, best-selling author of "Wish They Wish They Were Us." What is this one about? I don't remember. And it retails for twenty three ninety nine in Canada, and I did not pay this. So definitely check out bookoutlet.com or .ca, wherever you are. Highly recommend them. Absolutely. Um, yeah, highly recommend them. They ship, like, really, as soon as you pay, if there's a weekend, so, like, one to three business days or something like that. Um, yeah, we ordered these last week. So, absolutely. And, of course, it was a weekend, right? So, I highly recommend Book Outlet. The Stickler sisters are only a, a year apart, but they're as different as sisters can be. Single-minded, driven Stella. And Mila was the top runner on her team. With originals approaching, no one knows what happened, but all eyes are on the Steckler sisters. I don't know. It just sounds really exciting. I don't want to, I don't feel like reading that. But it just feels really exciting. Uh, okay. This one we already have, but I got it in paperback. I have it in paperback, but I since I have the next book in the series, or in the duology, I don't know. I'm assuming it's just two. Um, I got it in hardcover. I thought, oh, perfect. It was in hardcover here, so I'll just donate my uh, paperback. So I got Amari and the Knight Brothers. So absolutely, this is middle grade. Lovely, just lovely. Oh, absolutely love Amari. Amari Peters has never stopped believing her missing brother Quinton is alive. Absolutely love Amari. So highly recommend that one. I think everybody knows what that's about anyway. And then this, oh, this is a long one. Oh, I'm not gonna like this writing. 600 pages. Oh, I didn't say anything. Whoa, I didn't know this is 600 pages. I don't generally read a book that's 600 pages. Uh, yeah, and the font, well, the font is not that small, but still 600 pages. Say you're sorry by Karen Rose, and this is a uh, pedal to the metal thriller, says USA Today, the first book of the Pulse Pounding Sacramental series. So there's a serial killer on the loose, preying on vulnerable women. The only identifiable mark the killer leaves are letters, sometimes one, sometimes two, all carved into the torsos of his victims. Together they spell Sydney. So again, it sounded really good. I got it about 600 pages. The only thing is, so does Book Outlet will put like the little dots here, but I mean, that doesn't bother me. So again, these are absolutely great price. Um, and then we got another hardcover. Tell me my name. This summer, everything will burn by Amy Reed. Wealthy Commodore Island. Fern is watching and waiting for summer for college. For her childhood best friend to decide he loves her. Then by then Ivy Avila lands on the island like a falling star. When Ivy shines on her, Fern feels seen. When they're together, Fern has purpose. She glimpses the secrets Ivy hides behind her fame, her fortune, the lavish parties she throws at her great glass home, and understands that Ivy hurts in ways Fern can't fathom. And soon it's clear Ivy wants someone Fern can help her get. But as the two pull closer, Fern's cozy life unravels. Drought descends, fires burn, and a reckless night spins out of control. We just sounded really good. Again, hardcover. And the final book that I got is You Should Have Seen This Coming by Shani M Michelle. Oh, look at that. And it's written like on a little piece of notepaper, like you used to write notes to your best friend. Where is she from? She lives in New York City. I know someone's there. They're watching me. I can feel it. I freeze in place, trying to sense where they're hiding, to hear their breathing, to see something. I need to go. I need to get out. Now I race toward the emergency exit, my heartbeat quickening with each step. As my hand touches the door, someone slams me against the wall. <gasps> I can't move. 
A cold, hard piece of metal rests against my neck and everything goes black. You should have seen this coming. So this is it. This is our book, Outlet Hall. I definitely recommend them. Um, yeah, highly recommend checking bookoutlet.com or book, book outlet. Are you cracking? It's really hard to set this up because the iPhone 13 is like gigantic. So it's hard to put it in that little thing there. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, highly recommend bookoutlet.com or bookoutlet.ca um, if you're in the U.S. or Canada. Highly recommend checking them out and uh, happy reading. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And happy reading. Bye.